Goddard family. Awesome. Where were we? Dating is really tricky right now. As I mentioned, I'm divorced. I'm always having to, um, to uh, everything's always up in the air, so you know, I can't bring people back to my place because of all the blood. So my mom collects owls. They don't have an off switch. My son and I aren't always gonna share a room, okay? We can just push these mattresses together. I'm getting a bigger mattress after my neighbor dies. All right. The sleeping bag protects you from my toenails. I've got restless leg syndrome. Just get in there. All right, this is awesome. I have to use like OK Cupid to meet people. Um, because when I walk up to someone at the bar and try and talk to them, it, it sounds like this. <sighs> hey, were you just talking about the Baconator? <laughs> no, my glasses are foggy because I was folding laundry. And I'm fat. Um, my flashlight looks like a, a Pringles can because I want people to pick it up. <laughs> my mom quit making our toothpaste from scratch after my sister went deaf. My mom always told me, you're too fat for dinosaur camp. My dad has dementia, and every time I see him, he's always saying the same shit. He always asks me the same question. He says, hey, when'd you get a Prince Albert? <laughs> I met this lady who, who likes um, dirty talk during sex, and I'm, I'm really bad at dirty talk and sex. So I usually end up saying things like, uh, I'm pulling your hair because I'm frustrated with my erectile dysfunction. I'm pretending like my hand is this guy walking in the small of your back while I'm eating your ass, silly. Want to see a tongue trick I learned from a homeless guy at Long John Silver? <laughs> Me neither. When you're sexting with somebody and you've been finished for a while and you're like, let's wrap this up, just say something weird like, so what's your dad's deal? I'm wearing his compression socks. Hmm. Throw that one away. I laid down with this yellow lady the other night. It's not what you think. I said, hey, what's going on with these yellow ass butt cheeks, lady? She said, you're taking the hep C challenge. I have this, um, I have this friend with benefits. As you can imagine, she's pretty top shelf. I hope I don't get stuck with her. She, um, she takes 300 milligrams Zoloft every day. She looks like Nick Nolte's mugshot. She's always saying things like, get in here and fuck me, Kool-Aid man. <laughs> she ever hears this joke, we'll just be with benefits. If I ever live in a van again, I'm not gonna have a roommate. There's barely enough room for me and all my trophies, much less some other dude and all his trophies. I lived in a van with my aunt one summer, watched a lot of Murder, She Wrote. People always comment on my baby face. They never say, hey, where's the rest of the baby? Oh, there's his penis. I convinced my current partner to use um, lamb skins for protection. And phase two is going to be getting her to wear the wool sweater. I have this really shitty idea for a comic book. It's the invisible man, but he's blind. And it's just page after page of people going, hey, who broke that flower pot? <laughs> Whose service dog is that? Hey, it's free service dog, get him. <laughs> I'm Hunter Sandlin, thank you for listening. Yeah. Ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, Hunter Sandlin. 
seriously, these guys, they go out and they fucking do it. There's, there's all a manner of comedy gigs, and I'm so glad that there's been an explosion over the past two years of, like, different clubs and actually people having comedians. You can always go down to P&H and see the open mic or whatever, and every once in a while you run into a gym like Hunter Sandler. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Hunter Sandler. All right, so... I think I told you guys earlier tonight uh, we were supposed to have a, a magician and yeah uh, he disappeared. Ha 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 ha. Actually, I, I'm going to do a magic trick for you right now. This is the part where we do all the plugs and everything like that for the folks that we care about and stuff that's going on that you should know about. There's one person I want you to know about. I'm going to make her appear right now, ladies and gentlemen. Pam, the original rock and roll nurse. I have to tell you that that Pam. Ever since we started Rocket Science Audio all those years ago, uh, I mean, back 2005 or whatever, she has been a supporter of us, and I love her to death. Every, give it up for Pam. And now I'm going to make her disappear. That was the magic. That's all you, that you, you paid for this. I know, I know, I know. All right, so, so these are the plugs. Uh, I wanted to let you know that the, the show is brought to you in part by Murphy's. It's next door. You can get a good whiskey drink over there. I've had a few myself. I think I have an open tab, and I'm going to try and reconcile that after this show. Um, but anyway, over at Murphy's, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, on August 19th, uh, the Billy Dove, uh, he presents a rock and roll review or whatever. It's going to be uh, Friday, August 19th at Murphy's. Um, Johnny Lobo, who's been on the show. Toy Trucks, who've been on the show. James and the Ultrasounds, who have not been on the show yet. <coughs> Also, my power animal, Ross Johnson, is going to be there. I love the shit out of Ross Johnson. He's going to be blue, uh, He's going to be uh, playing with uh, Alex Green from uh, Ring Sound and uh, also Toy Trucks and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and some tractions. Great, 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 great music. That's going to be going on. Uh, also, uh, this is also brought to you in part by... By the way, who's enjoying the free beer? I would like you to know something. That part of that free beer is provided by Marsh Electric, ladies and gentlemen. They have been some of our biggest supporters of doing this whole variety show. They've been the best people, and I can't say enough good things about them. Because if you're not using Marsh Electric, you're getting fucked. That's right. You should see the commercial. Let's be if we go back and watch an episode or two on YouTube. Anyway, uh, also, I want to say uh, there's been a, a couple of different... Th there have been some changes in the media around here. Uh, Weevil has been around for a while. And they're one of the few uh, radio stations that actually play local Memphis music or whatever, you know. They don't stop at, you know, 1975, like the tourist industry, where they play local current music. There's also some other, uh, there's also some other radio stations that are actually trying to put more Memphis music in there, and I support them, and I thank them very much, because this is what we're trying to do. That wasn't happening before, so we had to put this in your house. And we had to, you know, put on shows like this and put on free beer. And, and we say thank you, Robin! And we, no, we say thank you to Rocket Science Audio, Kyle and all the guys back, all these people up here.